Vicky, and we're here in the Cosmic Cow Pie with an incredible group of uh, cow tippers and people to share today. We're we're uh, with some business people, some real estate people, and some photographers, and we're going to be talking about how to use the daily photography tips, uh, daily photography themes in order to start engagement. And one of the photographers here on uh, Google Plus is um, Charles Lupica, and he has a wonderful saying. His saying is that photography is the currency for communication. So what we're going to explore from a business standpoint and from a social media standpoint, and how do these two integrate and can we start conversation with photographs? We've got Pinterest, which is huge. We've got Instagram and people are posting uh, photos of whatever they're doing almost every social media venue. So I'm going to start right over here on uh, on the right with uh, Tracy. Tracy Tracy, introduce yourself and tell us what you do. My name is Tracy Ketting. I am a social media manager for small local businesses in my area. And I also do websites and graphic design. That's and I great. take lots of pictures and use Instagram a lot. <laughs> so, so this is going to be great to have your input. Thank you, Tracy. And now we have an author and another social media guru. Shelly, tell us all what you do. Hi, my name is Shelly Roth. I'm here in Houston, Texas, not too far from Tracy. Uh, my business is Springboard Social Media. We've been doing social media training, consulting, speaking since 2007, and I just launched my second book last week with the help of Cara Riley. Oh, it was awesome. Tell, tell us the title of your book. I love, I love the title. So the title of the book, is, it's hard to say, but it's called Shedding Your Sales Shark. <laughs> it's kind of the new, the, the non-selling that we have to uh, let go of in, in social, the world of social media. Well, this is why the, it's great to have you on here because this is the new, new way of communication. And Shaker, look at you. Tell, tell us all, all about your history and what you're doing. Uh, sure. My name is uh, Shaker Jerkuri, and I have a uh, management consulting firm specializing in process improvement and root cause analysis. So I've been doing this for about four years. And as far as photography is concerned, yeah, so I do a little bit of it, um, and uh, I've been using Flickr for uh, quite a few years now. But of late, I've started using Google Plus almost exclusively for uh, sharing uh, pictures that I take um, for business or even for uh, uh, for family pictures and stuff. Because Google Plus now has a lot of a lot of the capabilities that uh, Flickr uh, has had for a while now, like sharing with emails and stuff. So, for example, if you create an album on Google Plus, you can actually share with people who are not on Google Plus uh, with email. Um, so that's the functionality similar to Flickr. So, so have you been yeah. participating in the daily photography themes, Shaker? Uh, no, not not really. Yeah, okay, so this will be good yeah. today yeah. to get your input then. Sure. And here we have Sally, and we have a computer gremlin, and uh, so we don't see her live, but this is her beautiful smile. <laughs> and tell, tell us, all, how is it up there in Canada, Sally? <laughs> it's getting a little chilly, I have to say. It hasn't stopped raining. But I want you all to close your eyes and imagine me wearing a red shirt, just for you, Kara. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Everything red. That's it. That's one of the daily photography themes that we'll be talking about. But I'm a, um, I'm actually a home stager, so I, uh, my company's exit stage right, and uh, we prepare homes for sale, make them look like uh, they're right out of pages of a magazine uh, for, for buyers. That's great. Okay, and now we have Rich Setterberg from New Mexico. Hi, good morning everybody. Happy holiday season. <laughs> yes, there you go. I'm yes, we're real... having coffee together. I've, I've got my uh, poinsettia cup, so there you go. Anybody who's on the East Coast probably thinks we're slackers, but uh, <laughs> it's only 9 o'clock here. So, Yeah, I sell real estate in Albuquerque, and I love social media. I do an Internet-based real estate business. 73% um, of my sales come from 
the internet, um, mm -hmm. my blogs and websites driven by social media. So it's pretty huge. I'm wondering how to get involved in all these photography things that I see flying by bridges around the world and Alien Friday. I do have a good camera and I t I, I've been limited to taking pictures of like real estate but neighborhoods but every once in a while I snap something that's a little more interesting and wide appealing and I'd like to kind of delve into that a little bit more so I'm here to learn. Great. Okay and we have Crystal Kraft from Denver. Good morning. Good morning. Now, is it is some? Is everybody hearing that noise? Uh, it's somebody's phone vibrating. I think. Oh, I thought maybe we had to raise. I, thought, I am so going to mute you. I thought we had to raise the drawbridge. <laughs> the phone vibration. Okay, Crystal, tell us. <laughs> I think that's great that Rich is making the phone ring already. Somebody went to my house. <laughs> Not my phone. <laughs> the Blackberry. The Blackberry. <laughs> A loud one. It's <laughs> gonna mess up. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna tell Crystal's uh, tales here because she really I, I would consider her work in photography as at a professional level, but she would not tell you that. But I can tell you that. <laughs> and she's a, a super uh, trainer in real estate and a fantastic realtor. So you you tell us the rest of the story, Crystal. <laughs> well, that's that's great, Cara. Thank you very much. Um, I am. I'm a, a real estate broker in Denver, Colorado, and um, I started blogging in 2003, and it was the blogging that kind of led me into photography because um, I just felt that I wasn't a very good writer, but I, I loved taking pictures, so um, I just continued to do that and got better and better at it, hopefully, and um, now I'm pretty heavily involved in photography. I, I run a meetup of nearly 8,000, no, excuse me, 1,200 people and I'm a secretary at my local photography club, so um, it is what I like to do. <laughs> <laughs> she told me last. She told me last night. I think on a either a Facebook or a Google Plus post that she is now addicted to the uh, photo things. I told my husband. He says, "Yeah, well, I sleep with an addicted person." <laughs> 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 so there we go. Um, I am not able to get the voice to work. Okay, Shira, um, try another time. Okay, we have another wonderful guest, and she is having those computer gremlins. So uh, we'll. We'll let you, Shira, uh, introduce yourself if you get your microphone working. And um, we still see you as a dark box, but we know you are a shining light. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, so what we're what we're gonna do here today is go through some um, slides of um, um, how to. Um, how to use these daily photography themes. So I'm going to select my screen share, selected window. It should come up. And I will put my screen share uh, blue box up at the top. And are you all seeing um, a uh, invite with a Route 66 up at the top? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. Now that is the. Um, let me go back here. That is the uh, invite, and that's a whole nother training class. Which businesses, uh, no matter what kind of a business product or service that you use, the events on Google Plus are amazing, and the tools that combine the event with inviting people and showing up at the hangout. But well, that's a whole nother day. Here is something, and I. I just constantly have to share different tips. Now because I talk with people and when you get into these global um, groups with sharing your photographs, this is very, very important and especially in real estate. You have got to have where you live. Now I would never put my physical address, and um, but you need to have your city, your state, and your country.
because sometimes we forget uh, somebody posted something today about a certain mountain range and I'm like where is this what state is this I don't know so Crystal did you think this was helpful when we we went through and figured that out for you yeah it's very much so I had done it so long ago I couldn't remember how to do it and you know I think that is the key with a lot of people is the you fill out your profiles to get on the in the game and not really realize what is important so this is a key now here's where it comes in your profile on your about page and I think I probably will be some doing some training on the about page but right here um, where it has your home this is where your email is now now, if you have, it, again, it doesn't matter, a business product or service, and you want people to contact with you, you need to have your information out there and not be afraid that you're going to get spam, <laughs> okay? <laughs> it's, it's like, no, you're there to do business, and here's how you contact me. Because many people are using their About page as their digital profile, and uh, you can get a vanity URL for your About page where everything you have is right there on one page. But the key to this is right there where it says Address, and you have to click the drop-down menu to get your city, your state, and your country. So we'll move right on from there. But this is an example that I'm, I'm showing you um, because as you want people, as you create a circle strategy, people will not click on your name to go to your about page to find you. They are only going to mouse over your name. <laughs> So what you have, and right here where the, where the arrow is pointing, that's a tagline. So you can have the tagline on there if you want, but as I'm reading here, I have no clue of where this person is located. I do realize she sells real estate, but I have no clue. A city, state, country, nothing. So you only two lines come up on your, um, only two lines come up on when you mouse over your name and Shira is telling us the country field will be taken from your lived in section if you do not complete your home address and uh, that is why I'm saying you need to put all of that so people know where you are so let's go to how do we search for um, themes and at the top of, of Google of the Google page is the search box with this magnifying glass and this is where you would put in let's say I wanted to find out about all the businesses who were on Google Plus in Williams Arizona I would type in Williams Arizona right there and I could circle and start talking immediately to the people in that area so if you are trying to target market in a specific area this is where you search but for daily photography things which is what we're talking about today you type that in then you would come to their page now there's two things where the posts are and then the about page so see where the, the arrow is going here? This is where you need to go on any of these daily themes. You need to go to their about page because they're going to tell you how it is you are supposed to share. And the about page for the daily themes will give you Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then any day themes. Okay, the bridges around the world, you can post a bridge in your community any day. But Alien Abduction Friday, and I'm sorry that uh, Carl, some of the aliens must have adopted, abducted him, but he was going to be here <laughs> to tell you as a theme curator, if you post on a day that they're not watching it, because it really is all volunteer, you'll probably get no response or no comments because that's the day they watch the thing. Okay, so this was another feature on Google. I don't know if you've realized this on your home page where you can find what is trending on Google. And a Floral Friday is one of the photo themes. So if you are thinking about SEO, if you are thinking about who's watching what, there will be people just clicking on Floral Friday to see flowers. Okay, and so you'll be right in there if you're participating. This one, Shira, let's see, you, you still no voice, right? 
Okay, still no voice. Okay, um, but Shira, I had post. I I went to this page because National Parks Monday was trending. I live about an hour from the Grand Canyon, so I have a lot of Grand Canyon photos. And anytime one of you wants to come and visit, I am happy to go with you to get the <laughs> pictures. And I have a lot of rooms, so uh, so it's good. But um, I posted this just talking about thinking about the beauty and the majesty, how it was formed. Um, put this on your list of must to experience. It's one of the uh, grand um, seven wonders of the world. And so I, I, there's no selling anything on here. It's just my first contribution to National Park Monday. And it was just because that in the last uh, um, Dorette, reminded me, oh my gosh, I should be participating in the trending um, posts because that way people are interested in that. So here's what happened. Google Trends, if you can see, has a page. This is a page now that will reshare anything you post because they want to be posting things that are trending. <laughs> so this is getting, you know, you were getting a little deeper than just sharing a photo and why you want to do it. Now here's Shira, and uh, I, I'm going to introduce her as the SEO and internet marketing specialist, as well as self-publishing Kindle coach. And um, she uh, says that when you do participate in what's trending, that you use the hashtag so that people will find you. So that was excellent, Shira. Thank you very much. Anyway, she had shared one, this. I had no idea she was sharing it, but when you see that someone has shared your photo, you need to go thank them and you need to comment back to them. And so here, here we had this connection and this is exactly why I've invited her to uh, be, be on this panel because of the communication between the Grand Canyon. Now here's, a, this is an exact example of what a, um, an about page looks like and uh, this was for Floral Friday. It tells you who is the curator. You have to have that and you have to have the hashtag when you're posting so that the curator will be able to find your post. They go to that search bar and they type in Floral Friday and that's how they find you. They also get a notification if you've tagged them with their name. But a lot of them just do the hashtag and go through those. So if you're doing a daily theme and it's not the day they do it, they, they actually don't appreciate that. Just a heads up. So um, here's how we're going to do it. And you're going to do this in about a minute. We're going to have you try to post a uh, My Town Tuesday photo. So you just go just like you would to do a regular update. You add photo. You click on the add photo. You find the browse the computer for the photo that you want to update. And then select your own photo to share. I cannot emphasize enough that you have to be the author or the photographer who took that picture. Do not share in a daily photo theme someone else's picture. That is not what this is about. This is about sharing your work and you will actually get better. That's the way I pretty much discovered these photo themes was by watching and then trying new things. Two things that can help you with your photos if you don't have an editor is the fact that built in the Google Plus program is an editing program. Oh, one of the key things you should do is resize your photos. Too many people will take a photo right out of the um, computer and it'll be maybe 2,000 or 3,000 DPI. You want to resize it to the 640 by 480 and there's two reasons. One, if somebody takes the photo or downloads it, it they're not going to be able to do anything with it commercially and it, it loads faster. Okay, if, if a curator has to wait for your picture to load because you have a really high resolution, they don't care for that. So you're trying to do the best you can do if you're participating. Now, here's another key, your branding. 
okay you can put in the text there whatever it is you want to do um, and it, Crystal does this wonderfully and she has for a very long time with all of her photos um, branding her real estate company so here we go we, we put this in all I'm saying here is TGIF hope you have a beautiful weekend now here's two photo themes the Floral Friday that's tagged, then I plus it so if anybody wants to know about Floral Friday they can go there, and the curator. Now there's also another thing called Colors on Friday, so it goes for both. You'll see people who have six inches of um, <laughs> hashtags in that, it, we, as curators we kind of laugh at that. So you probably don't want to overkill, just two or three groups on one post. So here's the post, then you watch the conversation to begin. Now always return a comment, and all of you are bloggers, so you already know this, but someone who's listening may not know this. And on this particular um, person, I, I went to her page, and her name was um, Megumi Marsh. And she had this beautiful rose, and the, the photography word for the way she has taken this picture is called shallow depth of field. And there is a daily photography thing called daily depth of field. And so I started a conversation with her about her beautiful work, because I went to her page to see what she was doing. And um, so we started a conversation, and she's telling me thank you for telling her about the photo theme. And so then uh, we started chatting, and I had her from a peace circle. We did Peace Day, which was September 21st, where people were posting photos for peace. That's it. And we had over 1,800 photos posted for peace. And we created a circle of all of those kind people. And so here, this is interesting what she said here. I always enjoyed your photos but never had a courage to comment. And that was like so humbling to say, oh, wow, we need to go talk to each other no matter what. Just, and those photographs start the engagement. Now, on a, as a summary of that one <laughs> submission, there were 60 likes, 2 shares, and 35 comments. I got those flowers at Safeway. They were on my kitchen table, and the sun was shining in right from the window, and it was like, wow, that kind of makes these glow. But you don't have to go uh, buy flowers or anything. Sometimes I take pictures of flowers in the store. Um, so you can do that. Now, here going on with uh, the different photo themes, your dog or your cat can make statements. Um, my cat was on a black um, uh, cover, and a lot of times pets, something with the camera, but anyway, we had the best photo shoot, so I was cre able to create a lot of things with the animal, and since I help people with business planning, and I'm not saying I'm a business planner, I'm using my cat. Plan B doesn't work if you never had a plan A, so it's a matter of you've got to be planning for different things, whatever it is. So here's an example of someone who shared that photo, that cat photo. That's all it was. It, and all I said was, this is my Bubba. Um, he's a dog trapped in a cat's body. I never said anything else except for <laughs> cat a day. And, that, and he is. He, he's a crazy cat. So, uh, But this woman, um, uh, Saiketo Shiroto from Japan, She's a business planner too, so she, she could read between those lines. She shared the picture, and she was talking about business planning, so we started a connection. Now here's a crystal abduction, alien abduction Friday, and I'm so sorry that, uh, um, that uh, Carl Geiger Jr. is not here. He, he was all set, so if you're listening, Carl, we're talking about you. But uh, tell us, um, Crystal, what did you think about um, uh, joining up with Alien Abduction Friday, and what 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 are you thinking about all this nonsense? Because some people are thinking it's crazy. It's not. <laughs> Um, okay. No, actually, it was a lot of fun. I I um, just happened to have that image that I had taken. I thought, oh, this will work, and um, I'm pretty impressed with the, some of the photoshopping they're doing. 
Well, and you know, on that particular, because um, I had Sally. Yeah. You you told us now. Now come here. You said, and it's really too bad that Carl's not here. That you didn't think that you could relate too much to the alien abduction Friday. I did say that I would keep an open mind. <laughs> but okay. it's maybe not my thing. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Well, I'm now what I'm going to do is tell you um what why what Alien Abduction Friday is about. It's really about the editing and learning how to manipulate photos. And so it, it and they just have fun, but they have a good team and they have five or six people and they will all come back to um your um site and talk to you. So uh, that is again how, how we start the conversation. So here's, a, here's an example of a blog post with an auto populate. This is Crystal. So we, we were doing this the other day. So Crystal, is this okay if I'm using you as an example? Oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay. This is, do you see this is an auto populate? What she has, she has a, um, uh, this is her blog, and it was about holiday trees in a Metro Denver area. And it was a small photo. And she didn't have too many comments on it. But immediately when she changed it to the full size photo, and she added the um, Saturday Night Lights. Uh, curated by Dick Heikendorfer and Nightscapes by Christopher Prince and Dennis Hofber, then um, she you, right away you immediately had more um, engagement, didn't you? Do you do you feel it was the bigger picture? Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, that it. And so if you get one thing out of listening here, don't use the auto populate on, on your blog posts of any kind. But, uh, upload a full picture and then see down at the bottom here, you can put your you can put your the, the link to the post. So if someone wants to, they will go there. Otherwise, they will talk to you about the images. So, uh, Rich, I was kind of joking. You got pictures. She's got some to match me. Okay, good. Can you hit him for me? Okay. What's that? I'd like you to hit him for me. Oh, okay. That was uh, you can uh, maybe in that toolbox. There's those things, and you. I don't know if you can go over. There. So, so here we go. Let's let's try it now. Okay. Um, your your hangout on air is in one screen. Okay, uh, but your Google Plus screen is behind there. So open it up and uh, get to um, get to a blank screen there. Do you see up at the top? You've got the 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 space, the um, Google search space. Does everybody see that? And put yeah. in put in my. Town Tuesday, so that you find my Town Tuesday, because it doesn't matter where you are. If you want to connect with local people, you need to be sharing things about your town. Now, if you've gotten my Town Tuesday open, then do uh, go to the About page, okay? And you should see a, a box that says Follow. My Town Tuesday cannot talk to you um, if you post something, if you don't follow them. The person can talk to you that curates it, but not the page. So if you want people to be talking to your real estate page or your business page, they have to follow you. So do you all see that where you, where you do the follow? Yes. Okay. And then you can click and add and browse for a photo right there and if anybody's having any questions just ask me do you browse for a photo that that you want and then you edit the size of the photo it, it, it you just click the button that says edit and it looks like the little pencil if you if you've uploaded the picture then there'll be a little pencil and that means editing And then you make the comment, the theme, the curators, 
for My Town Tuesday is Melanie Kintz and Jamie Furlong. And I um, posted mine this morning before the uh, before we got on air here. Has anybody had any questions or any problems with it not coming up? And I have nine comments, because it was just before, um, and 21 pluses on a picture of my town um, from this morning. It, it's got a little bit of snow on it. And people don't know that we have snow in Arizona, but I live in the mountains. They all think we live in the desert. <laughs> so, OK. Now, this was an example of another My Town Tuesday where um, I had just said Historic Route 66 and started a conversation with somebody from um, Lisbon, Portugal, who is thinking about coming. People are talking about road trips they've taken on, on Route 66. And then this is just an example of, of again, the small auto-populate and there's the bigger, uh, uh, the bigger photo. You can link to the blog. Now, here's something that I, I want to ask you and ask the business people that are on here. This kind of a, 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 um, a post where it's someone else's blog post, they're sharing a, something else, an important blog post that has pictures and pictures. Would you actually click on those if you saw those in your stream? And anybody can chime in there. Well, I'm sorry, Carter. You're asking would I click on this display here? I, I would if the title was captivating, but um, I think a lot of people want to see those big photos instead. What, Shaker, would you, um, as a business um, person, click on something that you saw in a stream like this? Uh, yeah, typically uh, what I find is you get uh, better... Um, Personally, for me, when I post something, a post, right? So if you put a picture, uh, add a picture to your post and put a link to the blog, like you were showing before, um, then you typically get a better response to your posts. And me personally, uh, I also tend to actually uh, naturally gravitate towards posts that have a picture in it. And usually, you want to see just one picture, right? You don't want to see a bunch of pictures because usually people don't click through multiple pictures in a, in a post. So yeah. One captivating yeah. picture with a link, and the picture, preferably if it, if it can capture the gist of the blog post. Right. Uh, it could be a graphic. It doesn't have to be a picture with a camera, right? It could be a graphic that is. Uh, yeah, that something is, that, that, that you yeah. own that you're not, you know, violating copyright on it. And I think right. that's you're, something you're that we have to be right. really careful with. Now, yeah. here's here's another example that auto populates. What a great topic when buying a distressed home prepared for a marathon, not a sprint. Now, I can think of all kinds of graphics that would, uh, you know, show runners or um, a distressed home, you know, just different things that might make you want to uh, click a little bit more. And um, to answer um, uh, Shira, you're on My Town Tuesday. Until, uh, if you do the hashtag My Town Tuesday, all the people who posted all day are going to be in the hashtag. She's asking why my picture doesn't show up. But if you go to my stream and go down, because uh, I sent so many invitations for the um, Hangout on Air, so it's down quite a bit, you will be able to find it. Um, uh, let's see, it's been, all right, look through your side. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to read this, Shira. Um, you don't have any voice, right? Okay. She says, I'm on my town Tuesday page, but don't see your photos website. In that case, G Plus will be featured image. This is usually better to get click through on your site. Otherwise, if you are posting content on G Plus uniquely, it is often better to directly upload an image. Okay, that's what we're talking about. That if you upload the image, and it's much better um, that, that you're posting it rather than the auto-populate. 
Yeah. And uh, the hashtag, when you're searching a hashtag for Sign Sunday, if you were, if it was Sunday, she's searching for My Town Tuesday, it all goes in order. And I posted that about an hour and a half ago, so there would be an hour and a half worth of posts on My Town Tuesday before mine would be found. Otherwise, it would be on my page. Now, here was one, and Sally, this is funny. I'm going to let you talk about this one. <laughs> Oh, just that, um, yeah, you, you posted a, um, a photo, of, photo of a lovely recycling bin. <laughs> but... should, I thought this was funny. The last time she said, and it wasn't such a good picture. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. <laughs> but what was fabulous about it was that it just brought a, a whole uh, dialogue across the world. I mean, people were yeah. chiming in from Finland and, and Canada and, and other places and just um, saying Germany. how we recycle in our certain uh, countries or cities. It was a, an amazing dialogue. It, it was, and um, you just you just have no idea what a photograph is going to um, bring up for somebody. And then here, let's uh, tell us about this one. Sally uh, then uh, took this information and then posted this sign. Tell us a little bit more about that, Sally. Well, just that when I when I heard about Sign Sunday, I uh, I posted this sign, which is for tourists who are trying to find their way to either the BC ferries or the Whistler Ski Resort, which is pretty important, and yet I can't make head nor tail of that uh, sign, and I'm sure the tourists really can't, so it just makes me laugh every time I drive by it. Um, and, and how many comments do you think you got from that sign, uh, Sally? Oh, I can't remember. Quite a few, though. I mean, it was surprising. Right. More, more than you'd gotten um, on different other posts, right? Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think if it strikes a chord with someone, um, yeah. the only the only um, a cautionary note I would I would uh, say is um, I was just driving back down from Whistler this weekend and I noticed that there's a sign that it says Vancouver and then underneath it gives the um, First Nations language for uh, the the name Vancouver and I thought wow and it was Sunday and I thought wow would that ever be a fantastic photo unfortunately there was nowhere to pull over and I was risking my life if I tried. <laughs> To take a photo, so you do have to be careful. <laughs> well, yeah, there is another. There's another theme for that, and it's I almost died Thursday, and it, <laughs> it totally is a theme. It totally is a theme. I met a photographer, and uh, she's fantastic, Pam Pam Shockley in Las Vegas. And she was like in the middle of the street because she wanted the shot straight down the street. And the traffic light turned green and she was still in the street taking the shot. So she posted on I Almost Died Thursday. So, Shelly, were you trying to write something that I didn't get? Um, actually, I was holding it toward the end. Uh, I'm wondering, are there any businesses that specialize in daily photography themes that you can outsource it to? I mean, I know it has to be your original work, but anybody do that that you're aware of, Cara? Um, Shelley, I think that we are the first group of people to talk about integrating this. And oh. that's why I wanted the photographers on here because it's kind of, they're, they're doing it to get their photography out. And I'm the one who's connected the dots saying that this is how you start talking to people. And um, so, no, there is nobody. This is a niche. <laughs> this is a new niche. This is, um, you know, what you start. And I don't think, and Crystal, what do you think? Have you, have you, you haven't seen anybody doing this, have you? No, I haven't. I think it's a great yeah. idea. Yeah, okay. I mean, we outsource, uh, I outsource a lot of my clients um, other needs on Facebook and this is just fantastic and I don't have the time as much as I'd love to to be out there I'm usually taking photos on Instagram in my car <laughs> as I'm driving down the freeway some great sun, uh, sunrises uh, Tracy in Houston I, I, and uh, that's probably not the best idea so It'd be cool to outsource that. Well, the, and that's why, you know, we wanted to have the photographers on here because it, it, networking or connecting with a photographer in um, your own area is uh, really important. And do I, I'm going to get back to where, okay, that it's just me. 
But this is what I feel that all of us should be um, connecting with people within our locales. And if you're connecting with the photographers, this could be a wonderful source for them. You know, you can actually go to iStock, there's all places where you can do it. But if you have a theme, if you have some things that you want them to do, there are aspiring uh, photographers who will go out and take the pictures of what you want. Okay, but that means you would have to connect with them and say, this is my October theme, this is my November theme. And I think that having photo walks for your community, um, as a business, it doesn't matter what business you are, but especially in Houston, you have some wonderful um, places and uh, um, that, that you could have a photographer actually for a customer appreciation, do a walk and maybe give them some pointers on shooting so that they could participate in all these other um, these themes from a business standpoint. So um, now I'm going back here and I want Sally to talk about um, this because this is your picture there, Sally. And um, so she's just grasped this whole concept of um, photo themes and this is everything red. This is a theme that I curate with um, Donna St. Pierre, who is a professional photographer from New York City. And um, I just think the con the conversation, Sally, you tell them, was amazing on what you did with this post. Well, it was amazing thanks to you. Um, I the the original um, the original photo is um, I just decorated a tree for charity for um, at a hotel a local hotel and posted the photo because it had a lot of red in it and then Kara you you commented on the photo and then you said hey you know I've got this very interesting uh, designer in California I'd like you to meet um, and I'm blanking out, uh, Kara, because uh, her name oh, is... Oh, Valentina Chirasola. Thank Valentina you. Chirasola. I've had it. <laughs> Valentina. So it turns out <clears throat> that Valentina is a lovely, lovely uh, lady, originally from Italy, and she's actually written a, the book on the color red, which is my yeah. favorite color. And so that started a conversation, and uh, I'm so excited. So I've, I've ordered her book, and um, I think she has a lot to say. And that was all through me posting a photo, uh, you, Kara, um, making the introductions, and um, yeah, it just went from there. And I think that that the you've you've hit on something that's kind of the key, and especially in real estate, that we're connectors of people in our community. Okay, so if um, you know somebody who can help or do what somebody needs, that you're you're connecting with them. Now here's a, here's another example of a photo theme, and it's a, it was a beautiful landscape picture, but right in the middle here we have the link to a blog post about the landscape picture. That that is a thing that, um, and if uh, Carl was here, what he would say is he would ignore somebody that was posting in a theme, a photo theme that was trying to sell something. This is the shark, uh, um, Shelly, that they're saying, no, we won't, and we might even block you. So you want to be very careful about how you're doing it. Now this is a, a theme that I have for international real estate, but it's generic. It's called real estate. That's it, real estate. And um, the page cannot talk to you or share your photos. And I designed it like a photo theme, okay? So that what will happen is this page will share your photo as long as you have the link to a blog post or MLS or wherever you want it to go. Uh, this was five acres with a price, uh, $429,000. And then what the, the page does is I will put the contact to you and then they go directly to you. But the page will generate um, global interest because we have uh, India, we have Mexico, we have all kinds of places where people can find real estate. And that's all we want. We don't want a blog post that's about here's how you sell your house or here's how you pick a realtor. It's a specific property with a picture. 
And here, here was one shared by Janice, um, where she's put the price and she put the, the city, the state. And this was one yesterday by Bill Gassett, where he's used the big picture. Don't use the auto post, only the big picture. And so he's got the address and the price. So it was very easy to share in the real estate theme. And the real estate theme runs just like the daily photography themes, but it's about real estate and you can have your links here. You just need a good picture to be able to share. So all right. turn this off and you get back to me. So <laughs> tell us, um, Shelly, what is your initial reaction now to how the themes possibly work? I know you've said that this would be something you'd want to outsource, but do you see it as a way of communicating without that dorsal fin showing? <laughs> without that dorsal fin. <laughs> Um, absolutely. I mean, I'm all about giving to grow, and that's how I run my business and encourage my um, clients to do the same. And as we all know, pictures are so engaging. I mean, this just this morning, about five minutes before I jumped on this hangout, um, I immediately went to, let's see, what was the theme? It was called uh, Buggy Lunch, I think it was called. Hashtag Buggy Lunch. And um, I found a picture that I shot of a wolf spider. Uh, and I immediately posted it. I didn't know which day buggy lunch is, but I just had to do it because I was like, oh my god, my, my picture of my wolf spider is going to be perfect for this. Um, so I don't know if I answered your question, but yes, this definitely gets rid of the shark. Well, and I think it's, it's a fun and it's a soft way to start talking, and it's a way that you can actually, um, people especially, let's see, who do we got some noise in the background there? I need to mute, huh? Um, but the, um, the uh, fact that you can um, kind of target market who, who you're talking to when you're posting something, and that's why it's so important to post things that are about your community. Um, because th that's where you're saying, I'm the community specialist. Now, when you're a business and you're a global business, that might not be, but it, it's a way to start talking to people. So, I think um, we'll Shaker, a lot, go ahead. A lot of, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, Tracy. Maybe you and I can put our heads together after this and uh, think what what we might do in Houston. I mean, I'm very much Houston proud and love Houston, Texas, and I think it'd be really, really cool to do some kind of a something in the new year. I don't know what that is, but Tracy, what do you think? <laughs> that sounds like a plan to me. There we go. So here we're connecting the dots right here on uh, Google Plus on a Hangout for the world to see. So Shaker, what are what are your thoughts about the themes? Because I know you were sharing photos. Now that you see the themes, do you see a way that can fit into what you do? Uh, yeah. I mean, I've been using hashtags for some of my blog posts, uh, but more focused on the blog content rather than, rather than the pictures. Uh, yeah. But I, but I'm thinking, you know, people are. Well, uh, you get more response from uh, on, on posts that are more focused on pictures. Yes. So there, there's probably a way to uh, you know merge the two ideas and come up with a with a plan to uh, use uh, business posts uh, that kind of capitalize on using pictures. And like I yes. said, you, uh, the one thing you can do is when you create. Uh, earlier, I was talking about graphics, right? Now you can create a graphic and make it into a picture, right? You can export it as a picture and put yes. that. JPEG file and then put that in a post. The advantage of doing that is you can actually see how many people actually saw the post because in pictures, when you put a picture in, a, in your post, there's a uh, feature in Google Plus now, similar to Flickr, we can, where you can see the number of people that have viewed your picture, right? So a lot of people see a post, but they don't plus or comment or anything, right? So when you put a picture, you can actually see how many people stream that post went through. I don't That's know if you guys great. know that. Yeah, yeah. So I think it was either Thomas Hawk or uh, Trey Ratcliffe who, who had a blog, who had a Google Plus post few few months ago, describing how you can do that using uh, Picasso web web albums, right? But now that feature is actually in in Google Plus. So if you click on photo details, it'll show you the number of views. So you take any of your Google Plus posts which has a picture in it, go to click on the photo and click on photo details. So it'll show you the number of views on the photo. 
Well, and so you see, Sorry. I really do think that we are the bleeding edge, this little yeah. panel that's here, of taking um, the, the concept of the daily photography things and morphing it into how we can share, okay, we're, we're sharing our photos and we're sharing what we do. And it's just a different um, different venue to be able to share because the blog posts are, are kind of boring. Um, and, but when you start talking about the photo, they're either going to click on it or they're not. That's, that's what's going to happen. So, Rich, have you gotten anything out of this uh, second, um, second viewing here? Uh, yeah, I'm still kind of struggling with it, you know, social media um, and promoting business is a good, difficult kind of hybrid to get working well. So, um, you know, I think what I need to do is just go out and get my camera and look for <laughs> cool things to photograph that are totally unrelated and just get in the conversation as I, as I try and grapple with, you know, exactly how I'm going to implement. And, you know, Cara, I always take a while to process and kind of strategize. So I'm here and I'm lurking. I'm, I'm watching a lot. Well, that's people good. Do. That's good. So uh, now, I, you know, Tracy, I just jumped right past you. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's go back to Tracy. What, what do you think after seeing what we've talked about today? How is this going to help your customers or how do you see it helping you with your business? Well, I deal with small town business. That's what I mainly deal with. So having a My Town Tuesday could get people connected to their local, you know, their local people who actually will come in and posting things. Um, you know, I deal with like a boutique, you know, she could easily, you know, have daily photo themes and it would benefit her business because it would help help keep her up actively content it's so hard because all you do is post clothes for her you know so this is something different that she can post without it just all being about her clothes well maybe so, it could be her clothes at the zoo or maybe it could be her clothes at the same <laughs> way you know, the clothes go for a town talk <laughs> but just something different for her as far as yeah, I mean we mainly concentrate on just her clothes, her jewelry, things like that. And I'm thinking already, well, great, now she can have other photos. You know, she went on vacation, and she could share those photos with her clients when she went on vacation and have those incorporated into a daily theme. Something fun just besides just constantly promoting the store. And before we did this, you didn't know about Two Town, uh, My Town Tuesday? No, and that's what something you and I had talked about too is, um, you know, even with my husband's business, you were talking about doing, um, you know, we were talking about, you know, the water, the water sprays and different things with water that you can incorporate. We, we, I mean, we have Thirsty Thursday and he does yes. power washing. <laughs> so it's like, you could really have fun with that. <laughs> so there's, lot, there's lots of different ways I think, I think a business could use this to promote themselves subtly without having to sit there and constantly talk about their business. So, yeah. It gives you more content for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's a, a way to open the door. Sally, did you, out of this one, because this is your second time, you'd already really implemented it, and you kind of jumped out in there and started doing it. Is there anything that you took away from this time that, that you didn't have the last time? Well, I think it sort of rein, going back to your <laughs> lovely um, photo of the recycling bin. I think it just reinforces that. I mean, there are some amazing photographers on on here, and yes. I refuse to be intimidated by that. I my photos aren't pho photography. You know, they're not um, a great quality, but I think I don't care because I'm still going to start a dialogue with it. And I think I, I think people shouldn't be worried about. Um, you know that they're not a professional. You know you can still post photos that are okay, but to start start that conversation. And and I think the key to that is you will get better when you start hanging out with um, 
people who are better than you, um, your bar rises and you go, Absolutely. oh, I could do that. I think, you know, you see something, you see a photo and go, oh, all I have to do is get down on the ground and look up and I can make this building look really cool. Absolutely. So <laughs> I, I think you just learn by hanging out with people who have been there, done that and go, oh, I, you know, I can copy and do it. So Crystal, <laughs> now you've, you've had a chance to try it, you've got addicted, kind of summarize what, what you're thinking and what could help anyone who's listening um, about what you see, the vision for these daily photography things. Oh, I think it's a great vision. Um, you know, people so connect to photos and even if they don't connect right now, I have found clients go who are coming to Colorado, they'll go search for the town they want to live in and find photos and then find you that way. And it could be, you know, years down the road. So anything that we're doing right now is like planting seeds. Um, one thing, though, I wanted to mention that you didn't bring up um, in my searching, I was a little overwhelmed by all the groups. And so um, I'm switching around and I found where you can add it to your Google Calendar. And um, I got to find that link. But um, anyway, it was on the, the, um, the photo groups that you're talking about, it was on their page. And if you just add that calendar, the um, daily photos, then you can go look on that calendar and see what pictures you could post that day. Cause oh so my gosh, that that see, I did not know that. See, I love learning and having conversation here like that. Well, so that that would be that. wonderful because there's a tour yeah. right there. Yeah, because you remember all this, and I, you know, when you're new to it, it's like, okay, what day is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, and yeah. actually, there's about three, uh, you know, I didn't want to confuse everybody, but there are probably three um, catalogs, like the daily photography things. There's three different places where you can go and where they have other uh, others. The other thing you can do is I type into the search bar um, about uh, the day. Okay, so if it, if it would be Tuesday, um, I love train spotting Tuesday because we have so many trains in Williams. <laughs> I also like transport Tuesday, but it's because when your brain, when you first started Twitter, your your brain was thinking about, well, what's an update? I can what I can tweet that. Then it was a Facebook update. You know, what am I going to update on my face? And then I guess I kind of get bored with things. But now it's photo themes. Wherever I am, I'm, gonna, I'm taking a picture. There's a fence Friday, and there's a way Wednesday. You know, so if there's a path, there's a way. <laughs> so basically, you can take a picture of anything, and there is a theme for it. <laughs> And learning to do macro shots where you're really coming in close um, on a flower, all of these things you'll, you'll just enjoy learning and um, getting better at your photography, which then is a better door opener for the communication to talk about whatever it is uh, you want to talk about. And you know, we've got people that go on vacations now where they're hiring a photographer to take their photos with their family so that they can enjoy it and post a uh, Facebook or wherever they're posting their family photos. So again, uh, uh, meeting these photographers that are in these groups and then identifying your specific area photographers. And we are working on a um, directory uh, for photographers that'll do just what we're talking about. Come to your event, um, take pictures of your event, come do a photo walk of your neighborhood. Now see, Crystal, you could do that yourself. Just create your own photo walks of Red Rocks. You, you, Crystal just posted one yesterday uh, on Red Rocks, and I had been there and took my grandkids in October on their first photo walk and they were stoked you know all the different angles and all the different rocks and um, I'm like Crystal you can have stare Thursday 
<laughs> because it's hundreds of stairs. So um, anyway, it's just a, a great way to open up um, conversation, and I hope that you will connect with the photographers here on Google Plus. Uh, share some circles. So you talk about circle strategy, uh, getting into some circles if you like photography, if you like trains. Um, landscaping. There's circles for everything, and uh, be be feel free to contact me. I'll share some of my circles. Um, and uh, anybody have any last words they'd like to say as we sign off here? Uh, I was just going to add that um, the views I was talking about. It, even if people don't click on your photo, even if the photo makes it through a stream of a person that counts as a view. Yes. Yep. So that gives you an idea of how many people are actually looking at your post. <clears throat> oh, that's great. Yeah. So that if if you have a lot of people circled, it's going to be a big number. <laughs> yeah. And, and one interesting. <laughs> because, and a lot stat. of people have you a lot of people have you circled. That's going to be a huge number. And I want to congratulate all of you with your lower third. I was uh, watching a hangout on air last night with um, Thomas Hawk, who is one of the top photographers here on Google Plus and Trey Radcliffe and none of them had their lower third. There was four other photographers in the group and you had no idea who was who or how to reach them. So I want to congratulate you <laughs> on this tool and we'll look forward to learning some more uh, together talking about the events and how those work and coordinating with your about page and I sincerely thank you each one of you for taking the time to share and uh, we're going to sign off and if you just stay for a minute with the after party that's where we learn uh, about uh, what we can do better <laughs> so I'm going to stop the broadcast and thank you everybody for listening hopefully you're going to enjoy the daily photography things here on Google Plus thank you so